All right, so now I want to teach you some of the embellishments that I was doing, that I started to do when we were playing and jamming together. So would you play the chords for me while I play the okay. tune above you, and I'll give you some ideas of what we can do, and then I'll show you how to do them. Okay. Okay. One, two, ready, and... <laughs> string drones. Okay. That's the first thing that fiddlers start to do. Okay, so we're in the key of A, and so an, a one chord was A, C sharp, E, so we have an open E string right next to the, all that melody that we're playing. Okay. So the first thing to do would be taking the basic melody and playing on our fingertips, and then um, just droning that E string the whole time. So putting our bow on both strings. <laughs> bow on both strings. Right. So you could do that or you could do what we talked about using your fourth finger previously. So you keep the open E drone. Right. Okay. Um, and then so we'd go to the third phrase again. And then do a little bluesy slide. That's C sharp. So you're just gonna put your second finger just a little bit below C sharp mm -hmm. in the NARP territory between natural <laughs> and sharp. Okay, and slide it up to sharp. And a little bit back down. Oh. Yeah. And so it's we don't want it to move a huge amount. Because it, when we get into tacky territory when we're like when they're big, big goofy slides. So it's just really slight, and that's why a lot of people have mistaken fiddle, fiddling for being out of tune, and it's actually just showing lots of color in each tone, okay. and, and having the blues coloration, or the, the blues intonation in it. Okay. So it's just slightly below C sharp. <laughs> And then you could do that with the double stop as well. So you do a little stop and go. I could stop my bow, yeah, but I wouldn't take my bow off the string. Okay. I would do. It's kind of like oh, a ghosted oh, note. Okay. Yeah, so horn players do this all the time when they're ghosting a note in jazz, where it's kind of like they're swallowing the pitch and then it keeps going. Mm -hmm. So in order to do that on a string player, um, with a bow, we'd want to do like an invisible up bow. So if we're doing two down bows in a row, instead of doing which sounds really stagnant, mm -hmm. I'm going to do an invisible up bow in there. So. so it's just putting the pressure on the down bow. That was good. You want to actually move your hand up though while you're doing it. It's okay. just that you have no pressure on your stick okay. when you're going up bow. It happens and your hand moves, okay. but there's there's just no pressure on it, okay. and it adds a lot of lilt and a lot of rhythm because that eighth note is there. Okay. It's just that we're not play, we're not playing it. But if you think about a guitar player who's playing rhythm all the time, they're constantly strumming down up down up down up down up down up, and just because they might do two down strokes in a row, mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that they're not coming back up to do the down stroke. Okay. And so, great guitar, so great rhythm, or just constantly, you're constantly doing this. It's just whether or not you're hearing sound on every single one of those things. Right, okay. So, it's the same concept for a fiddle player. We should feel like we're constantly doing this. It's just when we're making sound, and that's when we put pressure on the stick. Okay, okay so. Nice. Okay. So let's do an A part with that open E drone. Mm -hmm. 
And when we get to the second phrase, we'll go up to our fourth finger. Okay. Okay. So from the beginning of the A part and. some rhythmical space. So, rhythmical, is that a word? Rhythmic space maybe, perhaps? So, I, a, a thing that I do, instead of just playing the basic eighth note, I add some little sixteenth notes in there. So I'm just filling up the space that we're doing. So. They're, they're all pickups to whatever note we're going to. So the pickups for the C sharp would be A, B. Right, and let's do, let's do separate bows. Right, exactly, let me play the first part. Two note pickup, and then B C, B to C sharp. The A is like a hammer on. It's like a the A oh. happens really quickly before okay. I put the B down. Let's try it again slowly. Nice. Nice. So you do that same thing, and I'm gonna play the basic melody. Okay. Underneath you, so you'll hear how it was, it's the same thing. We're just okay. putting more notes in. Okay, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I give you your pickups. Ready? And yeah, did you see how it's? I know, girl, you're playing the same notes. But if I had just taught you that at the beginning, you wouldn't know that the basic melody is right. I know a girl from Baltimore. So let's do that a couple more times. I'm actually going to play the melody down an octave so you can hear the melody better. You do the same things. Pickups first. And then go back to the A because the last note is the A. Okay. Just let it land on A. Okay. Okay. Um, so that's when, when I'm continuing that concept for the second phrase. So let's do the second phrase. Nice. Okay, so if we did the same thing for three as we did for one, mm -hmm. we'd have this so far. to do the filler notes the whole time either. 